Hello, hello, this is Terrorontor, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 43rd episode of Terrorontor Plays Minecraft. Yes, in diddly deed. Oh, so excited. In today's episode, we are going to be finishing up this fancy schmancy building. Um, we're just going to finish up the wiring, hook this up to a T-flip block instead of just having it on a normal old pressure plate. And we're also going to be analyzing some of the exciting stuff in the current version we're in, which is da -da -da -da, Minecraft 1.4. That's right. We are currently in the 1.4 pre-release, uh, which is really, really exciting because this should, in theory, be exactly the same as the fully completed version 1.4 of Minecraft. So I am so excited for this. Oh my goodness. Still mega busy, of course, as always. Um... Let's see, man, what have I been doing recently? Marching band, marching band, marching band, marching band. Yes, so much marching band, god. Um, you know what, I want to organize this a little better. Let's see, let's leave... Oh, how should I do this? Let's definitely leave some extra room for coal. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start using this fun strategy of organizing, because I think it works pretty well. Um... Then darn, I don't really think we need this much room for all these resources. I don't know if Flint should... Alright, no, actually we'll do that later. That's boring stuff. Let's let's actually do something, because this is the only video I'll be able to make for a week. Um, That's right, yeah, it's a bummer. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Sorry, just looking around right now, trying to figure this out. What am I even thinking? Um... There's the anvil I made that I wasted 24 iron on because the recipe was made much cheaper in the 1.4 pre-release. Darn it, though. I have to think. What was I about to say? Uh, right, though. Marching band. Marching band. Marching band. Let's build a T-flip block. Um, marching band is amazing. Marching band has always been amazing. I'll always love marching band with every part of my heart and soul. But marching band can be sort of a pain, not gonna lie. It just, it's so time-consuming. So ridiculously time-consuming. Uh, it's really, really fun, though. I would say it, it's almost always worth 100% of the time I put into it. But yeah, it's almost over. That is the news that you may or may not find exciting. Oh, gosh, what am I doing? I'm building a, a, a pulse shortener. Herp it herp, herp derp herp. Alright, how do you build a T-flip-flop? Um, I guess I actually normally build a T-flip-flop with a pulse shortener, now that I really think about it. Oh, gosh. What am I thinking? Alright, so... I have to figure this out. How am I going to do this? Am I going to have... the walls go the whole way around like that? Maybe even have some... some pillars here, add some depth to the doorway? Um, or should I leave the room totally open? Options. I have options. Gosh darn it. What should I do? My other option would be to actually even uh, do this sort of thing. And then have this coming back as such. Kind of, I don't know, to give almost a uh, nice whoop, nice little transition from the, the doorway into the building. Oh, right, and I just messed up the wiring down there. So what I'm really saying is, where should I have this pressure plate? Should I have it right here? Because I'm going to want to put the door probably right there. Yes, let's, let's leave the pressure plate right here. That's a good idea. Um, and that means that the pressure plate will also automatically open and close the door for you when you walk in and out, so that'll be nice. So yes, if the pressure plate's going to be right there, I have to build a T-flip-flop. And lately I've been avoiding. Like, in everything I've done, I haven't really worked with a horizontal T-flip-flop. So I've been building more thin vertical ones, if you know what I mean. So I think I'm going to build one of those today. Um, yeah, so let's start by just bringing the current down a little bit. So there we go. That'll be the start of our T-flip-flop. And we want to hook that up to a repeater. And actually, I, I will need to build a short, uh, a pulse shortener for this. So maybe 
Maybe that's what I was thinking. I don't really know. Um, so yes, there we go. Torch right there. And then we're also going to want to put another repeater down here. And it's true that there is new cool stuff you can do with uh, locking repeaters and, and whatnot. But today we're not going to work with too much of the stuff in the 1.4 update. We're still just going to be working on finishing this building. And then we will actually do everything. We're going to totally make everything I've already built look really good with the new stuff added in the update uh, next episode probably, whenever that'll be. Yes, but while I build this, um, and I don't know if you guys know how to build this style of T flip-flop, but I will explain it when it's all done. Excuse me, torch, there we go, bam. Um, yes, though, so, when I uh, finally have some free time, which I know it's the only thing I talk about is how much I wish I had some free time. Um, I, I will actually start having lots of free time, lots and lots of beautiful, gorgeous free time, as soon as Marching Band is over. And we just actually had another really good competition on a Saturday, which I'm recording this on a Sunday, so that would have been yesterday. Only sand. I do have some sand. Gravel would work as well for this. But yeah, we just had another really fun competition. And this was actually the first competition where we've really, uh directly competed against the guys that we are most scared of, I guess, in this in this competition. The the guys that are definitely looking like they're going to be our biggest competition. Let's see how should I do this. I'll do that. And eh, nope. What am I what am I thinking here? Because right, if I have a repeater going into this thing, Going into this block right here when it pushes up, this will not be able to come back down. Methinks, um, hmm, it's it's always weird trying to build things that I'm like I'm very familiar with this design, but it's always strange trying to build it in a different area than I've built it in previously. Because what I would normally do is probably do something where I put sand there, maybe something like this going on, right? Then, when the uh, sand is is pushed up, because that's how the T flip up, it'll just make it happen. I, I could use three repeaters. I think that's what I'll do, actually, here. I'll, I'm sorry, I would like to talk you through what I'm doing more, but I'm, I'm thinking too hard for that nonsense, that the talking is so blah. Not, I'm not crazy. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I have not recorded in a while. I'm actually really, really tired today, but I was... Oh, gosh, I already had all those torches. I was really determined, though, to get out this episode. Um, just because I haven't I haven't put anything out weekly. Oh, a while back, lately, I have not put anything out lately. A while back, I did say, oh, I promise, without a shadow of a doubt, I will put out videos every single weeky thingy. There we go. This should work. Not perfectly now. Uh. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Because I also have to make it go onto that side somehow. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. How should I do this? I could... Because uh, the problem is that I don't want it to connect to this redstone over here, right? I don't want to connect to, I do not want it to connect to that redstone, and it's necessary that I have that. Oh, dear. How should I do this? I could just make it come the whole way around, go like way, way around. Um, you know, make it go like that, then have a block up here to make that not go through. Oh, gosh, no, stop it, stop it. Not, no, um, another slightly annoying option would be to do something like this, take this out, reclaim that stuff, then have it so that when the repeater goes into this, it actually shoots out over here and comes down. And then if I, if I just got three more repeaters, actually, I think that's probably my easiest option, um, 
Oh, man, though, I've been trying to say this marching band thing, but I keep interrupting myself. Uh, right. Marching band is almost over. We just had a very exciting competition in which we were not placed because we were actually hosting it. So we, we performed an exhibition, but we were the only ones to know our own scores, and our band director uh, won't even tell us our own scores because he doesn't want us to get either really cocky in the case that we won or really discouraged in the case that we lost to our rivals. Um... So, so, yeah, we don't even know how we did in that competition. And let's test this. Bam. Oh, gosh, what? What in the world? Okay, so this will get powered. Oh, there we go. I didn't have the, uh... Nope, that wouldn't be it. Okay, so let's get the power which turns this off, which allows this to turn on. I did put a redstone down there, so... Mm, I don't know if something changed. Let's just try this, though, now that I've extended that a little bit. There we go! Oh, yes! Hot diggity dog. Look at that beauty. So the idea is that I come in here... Oh, nope, nope, wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, so the idea is that it's closed. I come in here and... Goosh, 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 goosh. It all opens. Then I leave. And it all closes behind me. Alright, cool. So that is completed. And I did make that fit down there with all that wiring quite nicely. Uh, nope, you stay on. Okay. And yes, this is totally copying... I mean, no. <clears throat> totally inspired by Etho. Yeah, not, not copying him, of course. Not me. Alright, uh, though. We don't know our scores from that competition. But it went really well. And now we only have two competitions left. We have practices every single day of this upcoming week. Then we have one last uh, sort of for fun competition, and then we have state, the big un, the only one that really counts. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to try to win all of state, be the best marching band in our division in the state of Colorado, where I believe I have mentioned that I live in the past. Uh, yeah, though, and that'll be, that. the actual state will be next Monday, and after that, marching band will be done, it will be over with. And I'll be able to make videos all the time. Uh, not all the time, but probably at least three videos a week, which is what I actually promised quite a while ago. And I did not, I did not uh, keep that promise because I was just too busy. But I tried. You can, you could trust me. All right. Now the question is, how am I going to make these little alcoves look good, right? Because I have a couple of options here. I can replace these with stairs or something. In which case, uh, here, let me show you. Uh, herp a derp herp a derp derp derp. Gotta go get me some stairs. Stairs. Do I have any stairs? I have a stair. I need more stairs. Um, gosh darn it. Ran out of wood. Right, though. So, marching band will end soon, and then I will guarantee three videos a week uh, after that point in time. Uh, so the idea is that I could set it all up so it's like this, which would give a sort of nicer transition, I guess, into the, uh, into the little indentations I have here and there. And you see, that looks that looks much better in my opinion. That actually almost fits nicely, I would say. And we could even do something like that, maybe. No, 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 no. Um, but then the problem is that when we come in and all this happens... Oh, look at that ugly dent in the floor. And the one in the wall might actually be very acceptable, but I just don't, I can't abide that. So we're not going to do that, I'm thinking, but I wanted to show you what it would look like. Um, so yeah, how am I going to do this? How am I going to make this look pretty full? Like I said, I did look at this design a little bit in my test world. And I believe I made it work. So actually, you know what? Let's go over there. Let's check that out. I'm going to bring you into my test world in my Let's Play, which I'm not sure I've ever done before. But we're going to go give it a look-see and, and see what I did there. Alrighty, so here is my test for this, I, I guess. I don't really remember building... Oh, and just ignore everything you might see out here. Most of it's just derping around. Some of it has lots of function, but isn't practical. Oh, this looks like another test for this storage building. What did I do over here? Ooh, I like this. What does this do? Ooh, yeah, that's fancy. Uh, yes, I don't like these lights. Yeah, though, um, this was actually the original idea, was that I would have it light up and pull back. How does that look? 
Oh, but in this, these don't push forward, do they? They just light up. Um. Yeah, they just ignore all my other random crap I have around here. Most of it's pointless. And then this one, what does this do? In this one, these pull back, don't they? Let's let's see that again. Yeah, in this one, this does push forward and pull back. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, let's do that. Lever. Redstone, sorry, just making this a little bit easier for me to visualize. Okay, so... And yeah, these lights came on as well. That, that's a nice touch. Oh, and hello, Bat, who makes a noise now. Righto, so... Um, Alright, yeah, this is giving me... This is definitely giving me some ideas for what I want to do. I like both of these designs, and I don't remember which one I had originally liked more. But they both look fine to me, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit. And I'll be seeing you again shortly. Alrighty, we are back from that exciting adventure into my test world. And uh, I think I think I did get at least a little bit of an idea on what I want to do with this. So let's see, so this is what it's generally going to look like. But you see, we still have this big open space in the center of the room. And I guess I don't really like that. So I think I would like to take the pillar idea that I was using earlier and I think I would like to use dark wood for those pillars just to kind of uh, keep it going with what I've been doing so far I've been using lots of dark wood because it's freaking beautiful oh yes it is so I'm just gonna harvest some trees really quick then I'm gonna go mess around with where to put those pillars I guess um, and man yeah I don't really have a, a great way of building this like I said I'm sort of tired so I'm probably my, my thinking level is probably a little bit below average right now uh, so I might, I might do this a little unintelligently, I don't really know, but I will try my hardest, I, I guarantee it, blah, 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 oh gosh, this does not bode well, okay, okay, um, oh dear, right, I'll probably survive building this, no, no guarantees though, so, Oh dear, um, right, I'm gonna get to work, I'm gonna try building some of this in time-lapse, I'll probably harvest, uh, I don't know, maybe one or two more of these trees, these dark, dark trees, this, the spruce they're called, mess around with the design a little bit, and I'll be seeing you again shortly.
Alrighty, so here we did, I don't know, it's some uh, pretty good work. I'm happy that we got this figure. I think that's very cool. And uh, it needs, needs more work, but I'm definitely happy with where this is going. I like these pillars. I think they make the room feel less ridiculously open. Like, open rooms are good, but this still feels pretty open, just with this big space in the middle. And I don't think they exactly make it cluttered either, so I really, I'm really pretty happy about that. I'm still not sure about this whole stair thing right here. I'm pretty, pretty undecided on that. But, you know, I actually just had some family arrive at my house for dinner. So I have to go right now, but I still want to get this video out today. So I will be back later tonight to finish up recording. Uh, for now, though, I must bid you farewell. And I will be back in just a minute in your time. It'll probably be a couple hours for me. Uh, yeah, though, and we'll actually get this finished up. I'm very determined to make that happen. So I'm going to head down, and I'll be right back. And we are back. It is the future now. Um, all right, so here's the thing. I'm time traveling, right? Just like I would on any day. And I accidentally set uh, my TARDIS to, to work in months instead of hours. It happens to everybody, right? Either way, uh, since the beginning of this episode, since when I, when I just now said... I'll see you in a couple of seconds, uh, but for it'll, it'll be a couple of hours for me, you know. Well, a, a month has passed. Um, yes. I got very, very... And actually, give me one second. I have to fix something in my settings. And, okay... Oh, wait. Darn it. Nope. Still happening. One second. Okay, alright. Um, yes, yeah, so time has passed, and... Oh, gosh, it's uh, a lot of time has passed, actually. I got incredibly busy, but I have some very exciting news, and I would love to talk about that, but I actually can't work on this right now. I need to find some uh, more menial task. Let's see, do I still have that Fortune 3 pick? Um, because this is going to be a very, very talky episode. Very, very talky indeed. Uh, so let's go, let's go talk and mine, and... Talk and mine and talk, and if I'm mining, actually, it occurs to me that I should probably bring a bucket of water, and I should probably not bring so much of this other random stuff I am carrying. So let me let me distribute some of this, and then we are gonna we are gonna have a lovely conversation. Okay, where does all this stuff go? I don't. I don't really remember what's happening. I made the anvil. Um, let's just dump everything here. That looks fine to me. Looks good. Looks good. And, yup. I'm gonna need these torches. Yup, that's fine. I'll just carry this junk around. And let's go, let's go mine and talk. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, and a bucket of water. Right, that was one of the things I actually came here for. Awesome, 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 awesome. And... Down to the mine we go in just a second. I really need some feather fall boots in this world. That would, that would make all of this so easier. I could just leap down into the mine. But no such luck. Am I even wearing armor? I really don't remember anything. Um, oh, and an enderman came through here. Delightful. Herd, herd, herp. Okay, so let's start uh, talking. And what we're going to talk about this episode is basically going to be the massive amount of stuff that we missed while I was gone and not being active and basically being a loser is what I was doing. Uh, where should we start mining, actually? Let's, fi let's figure that out first. I guess let's just pick a spot. Let's go out... Um, let's go out one, two... Three, three from the middle, and what are these? I guess I'm just going to mine with my good pickaxe, probably. And, yes, let's just go in right here. Um, and while we mine, I'm just going to talk. Okay. So, what did, what did we miss? What's happened while I've been gone? Alright, so first of all, marching band is over now. It actually ended uh, very shortly after the beginning of this episode, so that was, that was about a month ago. And yes, I am going to do... Some very, uh, b o style mining. Which is essentially where you just mine in a straight line for a really long time, basically to your heart's content. 
Then you come back and grab all the resources along the way. And this is a much more relaxing form of mining than, than paying really close attention to torch placement and stuff. And uh, it works just fine, I think. Yeah, though, so Marching Band is over. It ended very shortly after the beginning of this episode. So that was about a month ago. And uh, it went really, really well. All in all, my marching band took third in state in our division. And it's not like there are only like four bands in the entire state. There, there are uh, a lot of us. So that was very, very cool. And then how should I space these? Let's do one, two, three. Um, let's do the next one right here. Yep, that looks fine to me. Let's just do that. And uh, based on a whim I just had, this is now how we're going to do the entire mine at that at that sort of distance. Um, yeah, the marching band went really, really well. I was very happy with it in the end. Like I just said, we did end up placing third in state. And there were some kids in our band who weren't too happy with that. But I personally thought that was really, really good. I was very pleased with how that all uh, turned out. So that is awesome. And as that stopped being a priority in my life, you'd think, oh man, well surely, now this guy must have a ton of free time on his hands. But unfortunately, no, that is not the case. Because I believe I did mention in a couple of my recent episodes uh, the musical that we have going on. And yeah, that's that was still a thing, unfortunately. Um, but it was lots of fun. I really, really enjoyed the musical. I believe I talked about it in a couple of my episodes. And I mentioned that I am playing the part of Nicely Nicely Johnson, which is like the greatest part in the entire musical. Tons of stage time and singing, not too many lines to memorize, um, and generally just lots lots of fun. Not, not super dramatic or anything. I basically just got to derp around on stage and enjoy myself. So that was really, really awesome. I was very, very uh, pleased with that role. And it was fantastical. Um, and now the musical is actually over as well. That's, that's over and done with as of about a week ago. Um, so that was lots of fun. I really, really enjoyed that. And with musicals, I never enjoy them, uh, just for the, the sake of it being a musical or whatever. I always, I always really like what separates musicals I enjoy from musicals I don't enjoy is always the people who are in them, right? Like, in this one, I had lots of really good friends, and I actually made some new friends uh, through this musical because so many of the people in it were just so awesome. And that's why I really love the drama program at my school in particular because lots and lots of the people are all really, really awesome. And it's nice because the awesomest of those people, in terms of personality, tend to also be the best actors and actresses so um, lots of the really, really big roles are also really, really nice people. And that is just always so much fun. So I got to, I got to interact with lots of really awesome people throughout that. And I, I very much enjoyed myself. It was awesome-tastical. Um, but for a while, that was also the priority of my life. So here's how it went, right? I'm incredibly busy with marching bands, so I can't make YouTube videos, and I'm slowly falling behind in homework. The marching band ends, and then exactly the same situation continues... But now it is with a musical instead of a marching band. So, meh, not totally sure how I feel about that. It's, it's alright. Um, bam. Okay, got rid of that. And I do hear this zombie. I have no idea where the cave is. It's, it's probably a little ways above me. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as marching band ends, you'd think I have tons of free time. And hello, diamonds. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. I don't I don't know how my brightness is treating you guys. But hello there. Mining it up with some Fortune 3. Got four diamonds from those two ore. That's always loofly. And that looks like there. that's all there is in this little area. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Marching band ends. But I do not get free time. Because the musical has to... For taking priority in my life. And I was actually so behind in the musical. Because it started while marching band was still the priority in my life. Uh... So when I started the musical, it was actually really worrying. The, the directors were actually saying stuff to me along the lines of, Hey Sam, you're literally the only person we're worried about right now. I, I was like the only person they thought wouldn't be able to get my lines down because I was, I was so far behind. But in the end, I, I, uh, I got on top of it. once Because once I set something as like my, my big priority, I tend to really, really focus on that a whole lot. 
and uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. So either way, that was fun. It's over now. But uh, as soon as soon as that ended, which was actually just recently, I obviously was not able to make YouTube a priority during that because that was very important. And again, I was slowly falling farther and farther behind in homework. Uh, so as soon as that ended, it was uh, Thanksgiving break. It ended just on time for Thanksgiving break. Where I wish I had been able to put some videos out, but we did go to visit family to celebrate Thanksgiving. And uh, that was really, really fun. I really like most of my family a whole lot. So I got to see some people I have not seen for a very long time. And that was delightful. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen that I actually said something about hoping hoping to get some videos out while I was in Arizona, which is where I was. Um, but man, yeah. Oh, hello, more diamonds. Fate just would not allow it, unfortunately. Because there are a couple of things you need to record videos. Um, and those things, in my opinion, are uh, free time, motivation, and peace and quiet. So while I was in Arizona, I had plenty of free time, plenty of motivation, but, but no peace and quiet. It was very loud. There were just so many uh, people. And the aunt and uncle I was staying with are really big into watching television so there was always uh, a lot of background noise in their house and it's not very well insulated for sound so it's not like i could have just gone into a room and recorded it just it just wasn't gonna work and man these mine shafts are unfortunately short uh yeah though so that brings us to where we are now pretty much because i just got back from arizona uh late 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 last night and it is now the following day but i was like you know what i finally have a little bit of free time in which I might be able to record some videos, so I'd better use it. And, uh, I did. So, there we go. Bada boom. How many diamonds have we just gotten? 20 diamonds. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where we are now, pretty much. Oh, lava raining from the sky. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Mm, nope. Uh, yeah, though. so, I mean, what else has happened while I've been gone? Well, first of all, uh, some Minecraft updates. That's some important stuff I feel we should talk about. You see, Minecraft, uh, I believe that when I, when I started this episode a month ago, I was playing in the pre-release for 1.4, and it is now the entire way into 1.4.5, which is the version I am playing in currently. Minecon, uh, just ended today. So, man, it would have been so cool to go to that, but I, I had some issues with funds and uh, previously arranged engagements, so I was definitely not able to go to Minecon, but if I could have, I would have, and if I have it again next year, I am going to try very, very hard to make it to Minecon. I think that that would be fantastical. Um, right, and let's remember to torch this stuff. I don't want enemies spawning down here. Uh, yeah, though, so Minecon happened. Um... The Mindcrack guys are just as awesome as ever. Gosh, I'm still I'm still watching them whenever I get a chance. Uh, and I feel like that is is worth saying because if you don't watch anybody from the Mindcrack server, you ought to. They're they're pretty much all really amazing. The guys I watch uh, religiously are Etho, who I mean pretty much everybody watches him honestly. Um, then B Double O, who is in my opinion one of the funniest people on the internet. And, um, and Zisto, just because he, I don't want to say he's, he's crazy, and if he is crazy, it is in a good way. He just thinks really, really differently from most people, and I find that his videos often make uh, me think, not like about, about deep stuff, but about, about different things you can do in Minecraft that I probably wouldn't have thought of previously. Because I think that he really, he really gets creative with what he does, and that is fantastic. So those are the three guys I really watch. Oh, man. I, there might be someone else I'm f forgetting. But if I'm forgetting them, I, I probably don't watch them that much. Um, yeah, though. So those... That's what's going on there. That is very, very, very cool. And good, good... Oh! Throwing my pickaxe around. Pew, pew. Saving some uses on that bad boy. Um, yeah, though. Just lots of, lots of awesome stuff. And a mod pack came out that I previously had no knowledge of, but I guess it was started in 1.2.5, uh, and it just recently started gaining a ton of popularity, and that is called the Feed the Beast mod pack, 
And I believe it is called that because of the uh, custom map. It was sort of made for in the beginning. I, I, don't, I don't really know. I mean, don't take my word for any of this because I pretty much don't know what I'm talking about right now. I haven't even uh, played on the mod pack very much at all because, you know, no free time. But yeah, as soon as I as soon as I really get back into full free time mode, this mod pack is something I'm going to be looking at a ton. It looks really fantastic. Some guys from the Minecraft server are playing it. Oh, and you know, I guess another guy I should probably mention, really, really enjoying the videos of, is a uh, generic B, Jenny B. I don't really think of him though as a guy that I watch, I guess, because really I I'm not subscribed to him. Whenever I see his videos, it is. Pretty much always through B00. I watch I watch Generic B and I think he's hilarious. But I only watch the videos he does uh, with B00, his B team videos. And man, those guys are so hilarious. I'm I am I kid you not when I say I love them passionately. Uh, a little homo there. A little. Yeah though. So that that's pretty much that's pretty much all that's going on. Um man. I'm sure there's some other stuff I, I should also talk about that is not coming to my mind. Oh, actually, you know, let's talk about the future a little bit. We just talked about the past a whole bunch, and that's put me up at 35 diamonds. That is very, very good. Uh, I will not be in want of, of diamonds for a little while now. Um, yes, though, what else, what else was I just talking about? Uh, the future, the future, the future, the future. So I just talked about lots of stuff in the past, but there is some sort of upcoming stuff I feel that you all should know about. Uh, and the big thing is that I plan on getting very, very much back into my channel. Um, but you see, I have to balance it a little bit, because though I love putting out videos, it's what I do with my free time. It's I find it very relaxing, very enjoyable. Um, it's, it's fun, honestly. Um, so I'd love to start putting out a ton of videos, like, all the time. But the thing is, the the main concern there, um, is that oompa, darn it, lost my water. Oh well. Uh, no, whatever. Let's just block it off. Um, so the future. All right. So I would love to be able to say that I'm going to start putting out a video a day, every day for eternity. But unfortunately, I still have to manage my time a little bit because, as I was just uh, saying. Throughout setting all these things as, as basically my priorities, whenever I say a priority, I really mean a priority alongside homework. Because though it's true that that stuff does become like a priority for me, I can honestly never afford to make it my uh, complete and total priority, right? I always have to say 50% marching band, 50% homework, 50% the musical, 50% homework. Um... And now that I don't have any of that going on, except for except for maybe uh, forensics, which I'm going to have to start working on, I'm really going to be in full homework mode with then just uh, free time. But as I have fallen behind, like I've mentioned, because 50% of my time honestly isn't enough for the AP classes I'm in and stuff, I need to put much more time into my homework to get it all done. Um, now I'm going to be in more like 70% homework mode all the time. I'm going to say something like that. And hopefully that will be enough to get me caught up over the next week or two. Um, because lots of my teachers do accept late work, which is just fantastic. And do I have a piece of dirt? I do. Mm, boom. So yeah, now I am going to be in a very, very, uh, homeworky mode for, for quite a while. I really need to fill those in. Yeah, though, I'm going to be doing lots and lots of homeworky stuff. Um, but I will still be able to put out some videos. So I'm not going to say that, hey, there will be videos out every single day for the rest of forever. But I think I can safely promise... Oh, look at that over a stack of diamonds. Fantastic. I think I can uh, safely promise... And I really need to organize this better, darn it. That I will be able to put out... Uh, let's say... You know, let's go use the smart furnaces, actually. I'm, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go with... Um, Three videos a week for this week and the next week is what I'm going to aim for. And then... Um, sorry, I'm kind of paying attention to what I'm doing right now. Oh, gosh darn it. And then I am going to say videos air day, all day, 
just a massive non-stop party, basically, is what's going to start happening after that. So, yep, give me another one or two weeks with scattered videos to sort of recuperate. And then life will be a party. I'll get back into full swing of making YouTube videos while also staying completely on top of my homework. And the world will be good and happy, and the people will sing and dance and throw flowers into the air like they just don't care. It'll be fantastic. But hey, that's all the time we have for today. I'm pretty sure this is actually going to be a very long episode, like 40 minutes maybe. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. If you'd like to see more videos like it, leave a subscribe thingy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment or send me a message. Tune in next time to see me do some more work on this shindig that we got all up in here. I just have to sort of remember what I was, uh, what I was going for with this look, because like I said, it's been quite a while. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Terrorantor is out.